What up, it's Esteban at South by Southwest down here in Austin, Texas with the YMCMB family. So from talking to um, a bunch of you guys throughout the courses, you know, of your careers, one of the things that always stood out was that, you know, Young Money is great because when the project is done, we turn it in and then we rock. They're not like pushing us. They're not like, you know, it's not about rushing it. It's not, it's about when we're comfortable with the music. So why this time was there an actual deadline on it? Because I'm... Because of the title of the um, the album and the way the album came about, it's Young Money, The Rise of an Empire. Two days before we dropped, it was um, 300, The Rise of an Empire. Right. So we played off the movie. Okay. So if we didn't do that, then we would have to change the name and we wouldn't have been able to piggyback off the uh, movie like we did. So, And it wasn't rushed. I don't want you to think that everybody here, we all live around you know different states and cities in the right. United States. I promise I book studio every night for almost every one of these people. <laughs> so every one of these artists right here. So we always work and each of us probably have a hundred songs or more and we all make great music. So it wasn't hard to find great music. It wasn't these are not throwaways or rushed out, you know, it's, it's what? just the uh, creative process was different. Tell me about the the vibe now. Is it is it competitive between you? Because you got some spitters on the roster, obviously. Or was it like camaraderie? Like, you know, tell me about that. Um, so, honestly, we family here. So any any competition would just be us pushing each other to our, to our best ability. So everybody here is versatile and everybody has their own flow, unique style. And it's just a, it's just a dope pause, like a dope gumbo. It's just fire. You know what I'm saying? So... Everybody has their own lane. I don't think there's any competition as far as us ever wanting to be better than the others. Only us to push ourselves to our best ability. You know what I'm saying? To exceed our limits. So that's what we did, man. Everybody on here is dumbing out on the album. And it's just really just broadcasting our abilities, really. Chanel, just talk about, you know, your style as well and what you contributed. Because this is a this is a, 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 a lyric-heavy, spit-heavy Gangsta heavy, so it's real heavy. It is. And you <laughs> so know, just talk about you gotta you gotta bring a woman in to balance yes. it out, okay? Yes. And 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 Chanel and Chanel. Yes, the Chanel the Chanel connection. Yes, we got on a record called Hitting Like, and we actually got a chance to work in the studio together. Dope, and it dope, was a party. Dope. I'm a party girl. Yeah, it really was a party though. I feel like that was like a popping ass night in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, so we're just both party animals. The song is fun. Um, it's just females having fun, having a good time. You know, you, and and uniting, females uniting, which yes. is very important, I think, nowadays. A lot of females don't do that, you know what I mean? Now, Mac, Rise of an Empire, like you said, you wanted to put it out right in time for the movie, but it also feels like the perfect setup for something else. Like, I don't know if it's a flurry of solo projects or if it's going to be a, a really hot summer or what, like... Am I, am I just wishing and dreaming, or is there, like, more behind this one? Nah, you borrow my psychic abilities. Boom. Right, right, right. You on point. Um, definitely, I, I would like to have a plethora of, uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't use big words like that. <laughs> Please. Please use uh, An arsenal, maybe, of uh, singles. <laughs> I want to have a uh, barrage. I don't know what you want to say yeah. here, but, uh, yeah, nah, honestly, I definitely would like to see a single, at least a single. From each one of these artists sitting here and um, from there hopefully it births like beautiful careers and albums and LPs and EPs and so everybody got like 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 Gunn said it's gumbo it was a taste that everybody got and I uh, received also the big shebang and shibuki should be the moment song which I felt like the reception of that song is, is great so far the response the feedback right um caught a five coming soon if you right. didn't hear it on that then I don't know if you're listening or hearing. You, right, know, you, should, right. you should definitely be listening, but uh, Wayne's going to be coming soon, and everybody here should at least have a single out by the end of the year. Wow. And from there, you know, you like the fans picking how to feedback. So hopefully all y'all got some, some bomb singles <laughs> that'll lead to second and thirds in LP. Right. So that's the plan. On the last album, you talk about your psychic abilities. You kind of predicted the whole Miley Cyrus situation. You had a little fun with that on the dedication as well. Yeah. So, you know, give us another prediction, man. You know, we're going to... Go ahead. <laughs> I predict Carter 5 a million the first week. Wow. There it is. <laughs>